Now I'm going to go over the connections of our power supply and our Ethernet switch that will come with the package as well. Um, it's important to note that when you are hooking this up to make sure it's not plugged in prior to hooking up your 24 volts DC to your 60 watt power supply. So again with this package you're going to have the Omron S8VS 06024 which is a 24 volt DC 60 watt power supply and you're going to have your Phoenix contact, contact 4 port Ethernet switch. Again we'll just take another 120 volts AC cable and land the leads as so to the Omron uh, power supply black goes to L white goes to neutral or in green goes to ground and here again is the output of the 24 volts DC power supply hooked up brown to your positive voltage lead and blue to your ne negative voltage lead and put them on the ethernet switch brown going to the US pin and blue going to your GND ground pin and you're good to go and your ethernet switch is powered up okay here we've jumpered the 24 volts DC brown being positive voltage blue being negative voltage over to the red line HMI on the back of the HMI the brown will go in pin 2 which is your positive voltage and blue will go into pin 1 which is your negative voltage and then here I've hooked up the ethernet switch into its ethernet port on the back of the red line as you can see from the schematic here now we'll connect the red line to the ethernet switch I'm just going to put it in switch number one and I'll hook up the Aries Ethernet cable into the number two switch. The red line will be set at 192.168.100.1 when you get it. Again, you're, we already set the Aries drive to 192.168.100.2 so they, they both have free ports and they'll be free to communicate through the, the Ethernet switch at power up. Okay, now let's fire this bad boy up. Okay, now uh, you see the boot screen on the red line. This is what it should do when you take it out of the package. Now the main page is up and it shows that the axis is ready. If you pan over to the drive, we can look at a few lights on the drive that are important to note. This light right here shows that it's getting communications. Um, the middle light shows various faults and, and problems that the drive may incur. Um, it is off right now. Um, and this light right here shows that the drive is disabled. When it's enabled, it will have power to the servo motor and, and torque enabled. And you can see lights flashing on the Ethernet cable showing, hey, it's getting communications to the Ethernet port. And you can see the lights flashing on the Ethernet port showing that they are indeed communicating and talking back and forth between the red line and the drive. Now, on the main page, it's important to note. Uh, on the top right corner the on tick display uh, every second it changes its and it rotates and changes its, its state this shows that the communications are running back and forth between the red line and the drive if this ever stops it shows the user hey I'm not communicating anymore and that's why the screen is frozen on the main page we can we can go to the enable and jog and see that we're not we are not um, we don't have admin access to actually jog the motor so we need to return go to admin unlock and here it says login to access unlock controls feature um, this resets on every startup whenever you unplug power you lose your admin rights 
and you cannot have full functionality of the HMI. So to log in, you just click the button. It says please log into the security system. Press enter and then enter on startup when you first get the package and you can change this later on but it starts as your username is admin A D M I N your enter button and then enter your password A D M I N enter and then it shows that admin controls are unlocked so you go up to return to go back to your main page which gives you which gives you full functionality of all the screens that are that are pre-configured into the HMI. Um, on the bottom of the main page you can see the six screens that are highlighted by these buttons. We've already went to the admin unlock screen seen here. There's the enable and jog screen which will enable us to enable the drive via this button here. When we push the enable access button, we could, we'll be able to see this light turn green sh showing that the drive is now enabled and torque is applied to the motor. So let me demonstrate. Again, this light is red right now. I'm going to come over here and push enable access. And you can hear it come on and, f and hear the servo servoing and there's full torque. I can't move it. The servo motor will also be tuned when you get it from cross automation and that will all be done for you. You see here the light is green so the axis is enabled. Now I'm going to go back over here and we will go over the buttons that you can use on the enabled jog page. Um, this button jog axis, axis positive will move the motor in a clockwise rotation. So let's, let's show the motor moving. Jog axis positive. I'm going to push it down and we're going to watch the motor move. Again, when you, when you hold this button down it will move until you let off the button. So I'm holding it down and it is moving. Now it's stopped.